Next up are our H2 receptor blockers, and we can recognize these because they all end in tadine. So this is going to be our cimetidine and famotidine. Now these medications also decrease gastric acid, and they do it by blocking the H2 receptors in the stomach, which decreases gastric acid secretion. So just like PPIs, these are taken daily for long-term symptom management of GERD and peptic ulcer disease, and they are most effective when taken in the morning or before eating. So we can remember this with a fun mnemonic. If we look at the end of cimetidine and famotidine, they both end in dine. So we can tell our clients that they need to take their H2 blockers before they dine and don't recline after meals if they want to feel fine. So we want to take H2 receptor blockers before meals and of course we don't want clients laying down after they eat because that's just going to increase their acid reflux. Now, H2 receptor blockers are generally considered to be a really safe class of medication, but if the NCLEX does ask you about one of these, it's most likely going to ask you about cimetidine and its interactions. This is because cimetidine inhibits liver enzymes, and this means it interferes with the metabolism of other drugs, especially high-risk drugs like warfarin, phenytoin, and theophylline. And you'll notice that these are all drugs with a really narrow therapeutic range. And so if we inhibit metabolism, we can easily rise to toxic levels. And this is a really big safety concern. So we want to avoid combining these medications together.